Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia, Saturday edition. Um, today's video is going to be on Howard Morris, who played Ernest T. Bass. He had a pretty cool uh, career in life. Um, let's get into it and see what it's about. Howard Morris uh, grew up in the Bronx and is of Jewish ancestry. He came into the world in September of 1919 in New York City's Bronx District. His parents were Elise and Hugo Morris, a Jewish couple. He had to work as a boy to help his mom when his father died young. Elsie's job was playing music to accompany silent films, and this was where Morris first became transfixed by entertainers. He'd often imitate the performances he saw on the big screen. He had to abandon a college scholarship to fight in World War II. Uh, he went to DeWitt uh, Clinton High School in the Bronx, where he excelled at drama. He later won a dramatic arts scholarship to New York University and became a key part of the Washington Square Players, a Manhattan theater troupe. But his promising acting career was seemingly, seemingly cut short when he was drafted into, uh, into fighting for his country in World War II. The British actor Morris Evans was his army commander. After fighting in the Pacific for a time, Morris was moved to a U.S. Army Special Service Unit in Honolulu, Hawaii. His rank was first sergeant, and his chief was Morris Evans. Yep, Morris Evans, the English actor, who'd go on to portray uh, Dr. Zayas in The Planet of the Apes, uh, Hutch and Rosemary's Baby and Samantha's dad in uh, Maurice, Maurice and Bewitched. He served with Carl Reiner. Morris's army unit was created especially to perform for other soldiers. Uh, legendary comedian Carl Reiner was also in the group, as was Hogan's heroes Colonel Clank, Werner Kemper. In, in 1983, Klemper told Orange Coast Magazine that the unit staged musicals, plays, and variety shows for two years, and he called it the best theatrical training he could ever had, and he got it for free in the U.S. Army. He played Uncle Goopy in Your Show of Shows. Moore's big break came with a, uh, Your Show of Shows, a variety show that aired in NBC during the early 50s. In his book, uh, Dear Your Show of Shows, Ted Sennett described it as a series of su superbly written sketches that poked fun at human uh, foibles and pretensions. And in 2013, it was ranked the 10th greatest show of all time by Entertainment Weekly. Morris was the voice director for successful cartoon series. Every animated show is a voice director, and its person's job is to oversee the recording sessions and the performances of the voice actors. In the 1980s, he did his job for six projects. Galaxy High School, Police Academy the Series, Bionic 6, Dragon's Lair, Mighty Orbots, and Cabbage Patch Kids First Christmas. His extensive history as a voice actor made him the perfect candidate for the role. Being short and lightweight helped his career. When Morris auditioned for the Admiral Broadway Review in 1949, he met comedian Sid Caesar for the first time. Caesar was huge and hulking, while Morris was diminutive and light, which made them the perfect comic pairing. Morris later revealed that Caesar picked him up during the audition and told director Max Lieben, Max M. Get. Morris's favorite sketch was a spoof of This Is Your Life. Morris, Sid Caesar, and Carl Reiner starred in This Is Your Story, an 11-minute spoof of Ralph Edwards' This Is Your Life on a 1954 episode of Your Show of Shows. It played the sentimental elements to the hilt, and Morris would later dub it his favorite sketch role. David McGarlick of The New Yorker concurred. In 2014, he noted that the sketch produced one of the longest, most sustained laughs from any audience in TV history. He was a classically trained Shakespearean actor. Uh, this might surprise some of you, but Morris wasn't always comedian. In fact, when he began his acting training, it was a Shakespeare's, uh, Shakespeare's works. And during his time in the Army, he appeared in both Macbeth and Hamlet, with his role of Rosencrantz in the latter being reprised on Broadway following the war. The man knew his bard. 
He was very complimentary of Lucille Ball. Morris appeared with I Love Lucy star Lucille Ball on The Lucy Show, which was a sitcom that she starred in after her defining hit. Uh, he loved working with Ball and loved the Television Academy Foundation that her comic delivery was raucous with full felt. From the pit of your stomach to the top of your head, funny lady who knew where the fun was and where the jokes were. Last but not least, there was no personal history behind the Ernest T. Bass character. Uh, in a blog entry on his personal website, Morris once explained that there was no personal history or particular source of inspiration behind Ernest T. Bass. I was born and raised in the Bronx, New York City, he wrote. No dirt, no cows, no roosters. None of the scripts called for Ernest to jump up uh, around like a nut. That was just the result of my innards searching for ways that the character needed to move. And that's all I got for you. I hope you found it interesting. I did. Uh, and there will probably be more on uh, Howard Morse in the future. Because he's a very interesting man. Very interesting character. And that's all I got for you. There will be a video tomorrow. And Monday. I'm not taking the weekend. I'm not taking Memorial Day weekend off. Uh, that's not for me. That's for uh, the soldiers. Uh, so have a great day. Uh, God bless. And... Uh, be praying for you.